Afternoon folks, Friday afternoon, hope you're well. Currently smoking, guess what, plum pudding once again, in a Stanwell 1992 pipe of the year. And um, it's the first time I'm smoking this pipe, it's an estate pipe. Um, it's not tasting great, that's because um, I've given it an alcohol clean, although I left it some time to dry out, but still, um, I don't know what was smoked in here before. But um, I'm going to need to put a through bowls through this, I think. Could be it had burly in it, I don't know, it's just uh, not my thing. Um, but uh, nice pipe, in really nice condition. So uh, I'm hoping that will be one that will stay and join my herd of pipes. Anyway, pipes uh, 849 and 850. It's pipe 849. This is a part rusticated, part smooth, as you can see. Deep tree bark rustication. Really nice. Very, very nice to hold, very tactile. It's quite a sizable bowl, quite a big pipe. Fits very, very well in the hand. Reminds me a little bit of the Peterson house pipe kind of thing. Really good size, um, but still very, very um, holdable really doesn't sort of feel like it's too big. Um, I mean, you could clench it without any difficulty at all. I haven't weighed it yet. Let me just give it a quick weigh. 78 grams. So it has got some weight to it, but it's not the uh, heaviest pipe in the world. And the bend, it's got a substantial bend. It's like a three-quarter bend. Um, I think that definitely makes it easier to clench. And the the bend here is also reminiscent of Peterson, where they sort of go up the bend and then it's sort of a straight off, uh, bend off like almost in a straight line. Um, so this is kind of resulting from the recent uh, commission that I did, the quadruple commission that I did, which were somewhat based on a Peterson shape. So quite liking it. I'm liking the way that looks. Obviously some pipes that doesn't work on and you'll see that in the next pipe. But anyway, this one is pipe 849. Lovely pipe. These two pipes I decided to put a bowl coating in them just to see how they finish off nicely. It works probably better on the next pipe. So pipe 850. So smooth pipe, really gorgeous briar. Very flamey, a little bit of a plateau on the top, a bit of a fade to black almost, sort of fade to dark as you reach the top. Looks very, very nice. Don't have to worry about scorching the rim because it's dark anyway. And uh, some birds out on the base. This one has got a variety of greens. I wouldn't call it particularly flame or particularly straight or Cross grain, it's, it's none of the above. It's kind of a mix of everything. It's got a nice contrast, really nice coloring. Works very well with the tortoise shell stem. Um, oh, I should have mentioned this one is nine mil, but the previous one isn't. This one is not nine mil. It's um, a four mil drill, countersunk. And this one is nine mil. And I've also polished the shank face, which I don't usually do. Um, but on some of the sort of higher grade ones, I do that. It's a little bit of extra work to make sure that that's completely smooth. And <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, that one's nine mil. Gorgeous pipe. And it has almost like a flat kind of base, but I've done it with a soft edge which works better with the grain that this pipe has and um, you can see the grain just curves round gently around that uh, curve so there is a, a line there but it's a soft line rather than a hard line um, I toyed with the idea of having a hard line but a soft one works better with this pipe so there we go really really nice pipe lovely lovely grain nice piece of briar and uh, we'll be on the website shortly Um, speaking about the website, I am doing a little bit of a um, 
a cleanup of the website so at the moment none of the pictures are on there um, the gallery I wanted to make it more concise because they're sort of a hodgepodge of all the pipes that have been up on there previously um, and so you might have 10 different billiards or 10 different rosebuds lots of the same pipes there are some unique pipes as well but there are lots of repetitive shapes which is really not much point putting so many pipes on. there's hundreds of pipes there and if people want to sort of have a look at the shapes it's kind of a chore so I'm gonna be making it a little bit more concise so less shapes to, to toil through um, but certainly the unique pipes will be on there and even say a rosebud there might be more than one rosebud on there but with different materials perhaps and that kind of thing <clears throat> or if there's a slight different sort of shape to the rosebud perhaps um, so that will be coming soon um, but any road these ones will be up there soon looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night London calling with Simon on this channel around midnight UK time for a live chat um, so looking forward to seeing you catch you on the next one